Hello, I'm Thad Plumley, the Director of Publications for the National Groundwater Association. And today I'm here with John Pitts, the president of NL Pitts Incorporated in Batavia, Illinois, and the winner of the 2020 Oliver Award. John, the Oliver Award is NGWA's most prestigious award. It's given for outstanding contributions to the groundwater industry. When you think about that, what does it mean for you to win the award? Well, very candidly, Thad, what I would say when <clears throat> I was a little uncomfortable winning the award. I mean, my perspective was I was just one of many. I was privileged to be able to serve NGWA. And looking back, I realized how blessed I am to be able to have served NGWA. And I've already been rewarded by interacting with all the people and my experiences. And, and when I was notified, it was a wow moment to me. It's like, wow, it's, it's hard for me to process that. And I, that's why I'm a little uncomfortable, but I would say the Olive Award just emphasized how blessed I am to have served NGWA. It has been so rewarding for me. So you were on the board of directors and served as its president in 2012. Do you have a favorite memory of your time with the board? I would, I would tell you, there is no singular favorite uh, memory, but there's a whole truckload of favorite memories. It was just an unbelievable experience. And my wife and I have talked about how blessed we were to be able to serve at that time in our life and to take advantage of all the opportunities. Um, <clears throat> it was it just, it's, it's amazing. And the people, NGWA staff, they're just outstanding. Uh, it, it, it's just a pleasure. I want to say to work with, but I never felt I was working with them. It was always the staff that was pulling the plow. And it was wonderful. And I've had um, opportunities to travel around the United States. And I was able to go to Beijing, China, Italy, Brazil. And um, I just had fabulous, fabulous experience. I was so blessed to be able to serve on the board. You, you were instrumental in the creation of NGWA's cost calculator, a tool which ensures contractors are charging enough for their work. Do you still see charging enough for work as a critical issue today? Um, I would just, I would say, if I want to just change the focus a little bit, it wasn't so much um, charging enough was the driving factor, but understanding the cost of running your business. And when you understand the cost of running your business, you can make decisions as to how you want to move forward. So um, I would suggest to you that the cost calculator today is ever bit as important because our whole dynamics of our way of life are changing. And we need to be able to know, what can I do? What are my costs? It, business always comes down to that. And what if I want to do this, how does it impact? Cost calculator is a tremendous tool. I mean, we have a cost calculator for the water well, and we have a cost calculator for pump installation, and they keep you involved in your business. And if you're running a business today, you need to be involved. Um, it's very easy to say, oh, I gotta go to work, and you put off doing the admin of it, and your business will fail. The cost calculator, I believe, is the strength of going forward. I often hear concerns about finding the next generation of employees what are some ways do you think that can be done? Well, it, in talking about the cost calculator, it, it plays a, a, a role in going forward to attract new employees. And I mean, it's an obvious statement. The life of our industry depends upon having the next generation of groundwater professionals come in to the industry. And I believe that what we need to do is to, there's three, three objects we need to accomplish. 
uh, one is financial, one is opportunity, and one is way of life. These are the tools we can use to get the groundwater, the future groundwater professional into our industry. Financial, that's the attention getter. It needs to be, a person looking at it needs to be realized that yes, there is opportunity here for me to be financially rewarded. But that in itself will not keep the groundwater professional. We have to motivate them with opportunity that, man, this I got an opportunity here. I can grow. I can express myself. I can be involved. I can help grow the business and a way of life. The way of life now is, is obviously changing with the virus, but even prior to that, it was changing. And um, way back when I was on the board, and this stuck with me like glue, we had a, a session of where the speaker was in to talk to us just about how way of life attitude has changed. And he said he had a son that had this wonderful job. And he could be very financially independent, but it gave him the ability to work maybe the first 15 days of the month. And then instead of continuing to work to continue to grow his bank account, he said, I'm done. I go play for the rest of the month. And then the next month he repeated this. And the emphasis was people aren't the, the younger people and people in general want to be able to enjoy life. And that's one of the things that's difficult for our industry because just of the nature of it, there's times we have to work weekends, there are times we have to work late in the night or early in the morning, whatever it is. But to grow, we need to realize they need to be the exception, not the way operating, normal operating procedure. So as I look at attracting young groundwater professionals, it's exactly what we need to make them, a professional. Get them involved. Um, find a way that we can use their skills. I will use an example that um, <clears throat> I've been over the last 10, 12 years, I have partnered with Water Quality Association in presenting a class. And the class is for non-transient, non-community water system operators. They need to be certified to run these systems. Now, um, <clears throat> they know nothing about wells, but they, yet they're, they have to run the system. And so trying to educate them in this class we teach um, is twice a year and we have, let's say on average, 30 people in a class. Now there's like 400 systems in Illinois. So if you take 60 people a year, you understand that's quite a turnover. So I have have been discussing this with the state association and the state association has seen an opportunity to be able to provide education to these people, an opportunity for revenue by providing education to these people, and an opportunity for our members to maybe get involved and become a system operator to take over the paper load. And now they have captured customers. So uh, I think that's what we need to do in our industry is build on our strength, which is our knowledge, be professional and give this opportunity to the young people so they can see, wow, I'm not gonna be 60 years old and still wading my every day in the ditch. Not that that's it wrong, but professionals want more than that. So it's a combination. So that's mine. If I was, I would tell you, if I was 30 years younger, I would be all over that non-community operator because it's just a matter of using your computer and developing relationships with these systems. That's my two cents. <laughs>